Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, today I am talking about something that a lot of you were wondering and asking me to actually give my opinion. You know that um, in one of the videos I did talk about the fact that I have installed Windows 10 on what was remaining of my computers that were still on Windows 7 and that meant one particular laptop, a 11 year old Toshiba Core 2 Dual laptop that I purchased, I do believe, in 2008. So that would make it 11 years since uh, that I've been owning that laptop. Now it was a pretty advanced laptop for the time because it even had 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which was something that almost no laptops had back in 2008. Of course, I've uh, upgraded the machine a few times. I've added RAM. I've added a uh, bigger hard drive. I've, uh, had, of course, changed the battery. But um, now, in 2015, when Windows 10 came out, I did take the moment, the occasion, of actually <coughs> uh, upgrading my Windows 7 that was on that laptop to Windows 10. Um, and uh, first it seemed okay but it actually had crashes I had uh, several blue screens at the time uh, always crashing with the same device um, and I've of course had some uh, weird behavior the computer was kind of running a hundred percent CPU almost all the time so I after you know seeing that it was always running really hot and it had the crashes from time to time I kind of abandoned and decided, okay, I, you know, this is a bad experience. Um, and I, you know, I mean, back in 2015, that meant it already had f seven years. So I thought, okay, well, you know, Windows 10 is not fit to run on this really old computer. So I put Windows 7 back on it after a couple of months of use and been using it with Windows 7 since then. Now, I, of course, wanted to upgrade, so I decided that I uh, would, um, you know, upgrade it to Windows 10 and see if with the May 2019 update all goes well. And, of course, to simulate and know that things are running well without blue screens, I let it run for many hours, a few days in a row, doing things, looking at videos. And, uh, of course, I now have a verdict of how that 11 year old laptop actually behaves with Windows 10 the May 2019 update on it well I am pleasantly surprised I would guess that Windows 10 has of course been tweaked to run better when 2015 happened a lot of people complained that their older laptops were maybe running kind of all the time and I had commented on a few of these uh, um, users or viewers that were telling me, you know, my laptop's kind of running hot and s almost 100% CPU. How about yours? And I had mentioned, yeah, my, my Toshiba, my old Toshiba laptop actually behaves like that. So I basically um, went back to Windows 7, like I said. Now, I installed the Windows 10 May 2019 update, first of all, to see if it would install well. It installed flawlessly and then I ran it. It is amazingly interesting because it runs nice. It runs really, really uh, well. It is actually fast for a 1.5 gigahertz Core 2 Duo machine. Now that laptop does have its own dedicated graphics adapter, a AMD Radeon card that has its own RAM memory on board, but still it is surprising how fast it actually runs for an 11 year old laptop it's almost like giving a new life to the old laptop which is kind of interesting it um, doesn't run 100 percent cpu like it did before which is really nice they fixed whatever bug or problem made this happen now it's running it's running much cooler and it actually runs really well so i'm kind of happy of the uh, transition back to windows 10 as for what was probably the number one problem that I would was kind of scared of seeing happen, the um, blue screens. Until now, for the past 
uh, week, I have not had any blue screens. So I wonder if maybe they had fixed, maybe they did fix whatever problem it was causing. Um, if I remember well, and I'm trying to remember, the um, the blue screens were happening with the Wi-Fi driver, if I'm not mistaken. So um, with the net, the uh, Ethernet adapter for Wi-Fi, that was part of the computer. So um, I haven't seen any problems. So it seems to work well, and everything is uh, pretty good for a 11-year-old laptop. Uh, giving me the idea of maybe using it a little more to do some stuff on it, uh, you know, uh, kind of nice. And one on the performance side, I, I have noticed an improvement. On Windows 7, if I had some high, uh, you know, HD videos, for example, that were on the hard drive, it was very difficult to really watch them without having some kind of slowdown or weird effect going on. Sometimes the, the videos would play like in slow motion because the computer couldn't deal with the HD um, files. On Windows 10, I installed a DOM pod player and it actually plays the video files really well. So um, that's another positive point. So my experience on an 11-year-old Toshiba laptop is pretty good. So if, you're a, if you have an old laptop out there or an old desktop, and you're wondering, hmm, should I upgrade to Windows 10 on that old thing? I think it's worth a try, especially if you're starting to think that with the end of support of Windows 7, it might be a good idea to move on to another computer. I think trying it is something you have nothing to lose anyway. And if you have a Windows 7 key on a little sticker on that computer, well, it probably will enable you a free upgrade to Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.